One side in the Trump trial had a compelling narrative, and that was the prosecution. The defense did not have a coherent narrative. The side with the most compelling narrative tends to win. Right, if you have a story that rings true, that has tremendous power. And if you internally have a story that rings true, that's going to give you power. On the other hand, if you're living by a story that causes you to wake up at 2 a.m. because you know it's bogus, and I've had years of my life, such as between 1995 and 2007, I had years of my life where I'd like, wake up at 2 a.m. because I knew that the stories I was telling myself were, were bogus. So when you have a narrative that's compelling to you, uh, it's more likely to be compelling to others. Right? A powerful narrative uh, changes people's energy. Right? It changes the, the direction of uh, lives of society, uh, political parties that have a more compelling narrative in an election are more likely to do well. Individuals who have a better narrative that uh, more closely matches reality are better likely to do well. Uh, ideology has a better narrative for a particular set of circumstances, it's more likely to do well. So this is one example of the incredible power of narrative. Uh, and so uh, you want a narrative that rings true. Uh, logically, rationally, empirically, deductively, deductively, emotionally, spiritually. Uh, you come up with a narrative. If you have the narrative that is the best explanation, right? So it's like detective story logic, where you come up with the simplest and the best explanation for how something could happen. Oh, it was the, the butler who did it in the library. And so you reason from all the various cues and clues to the simplest, most effective explanation for how things are the way they are, whether it's on an individual level or a communal level or a national level or a religious level, all right? If you have the single best, most sim simple, effective explanation for why the world is the way it is, why the situation is the way it is, right? the best narrative is often going to win. Because the world is so confusing, there are so many different variables. And without a narrative, like people will be stuck. They won't have energy. But if you have a narrative that pulls together and explains completely disparate variables, right, you have a story that links things, right? You're more likely to win.